Hello YouTube, hello Facebook. Uh, wasn't able to get out any content on this fragrance yesterday. Um, Bulgari, um, Eau Perfume, Eau de Blanc, Eau de Cologne. Uh, I really wanted to do a first impl impressions slash a mini review with this because I don't think I will uh, be purchasing this at all unless I can probably find it for uh, heavily discounted, extremely cheap. Uh, it's a good fragrance. It's part of their little uh, private collection or one of the lines. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I have the dry down over here. It only lasts about two or three hours, so the dry down is pretty easy to get to. Right off the top, we get some light wood, some musk, uh, definitely a metallic feel to it. Um, it definitely gives off um, Eau de Cologne vibes, specifically um, Guerlain's Cologne 68. Gives off that herbal, uh, classic men's Eau de Cologne top scent. Sorry, my cigar is in the way. Yeah, a lot musky. Um, it re reminds me of uh, Blade Sauvage from Dior. Um, oddly enough, this actually came out first. The perfumer is um, Jacques Cavi uh, Cavier. And the dry down over here. A lot of the metallic has gone away. It just leaves a, a musky Eau de Cologne. You know, the bergamot, the neroli, the lemon, the citruses, the lot muskiness to it. It's all still there. And then it just goes, and then it just, you know, stays, and it's pretty linear. I would dare to say there's some iris in here. Uh, checked on Fragranica. I know Fragranica isn't the most reliable source for notes, but, you know, it's it's one of those that it's nice, but, you know, I'm not going to dig up much dirt about it or uh, make a huge fuss because, you know, it is similar to several other scents out there. Yeah, definitely, uh. Gives kind of um, Bois d'Argent vibes too. Kind of like a mix between um, Bois d'Argent and um, Belade Sauvage. Not um, Eau Sauvage or Sauvage, but um, Belade Sauvage. Look it up. Yeah, that's uh, it's my little first impression slash mini review. Uh, once again, probably won't be doing a wear on this. Uh, you are lucky that I even wore this two days in a row, really. And, and I'm saying this, uh, and it might come off as a negative, but I'm really not meaning to be negative uh, when talking about this fragrance because it, it is quite nice um, to someone who is possibly new into fragrances or a gentleman who is used to the classic Eau de Colognes but wants a more modern version, this would be really good. Um, I think you can pick this up for like $110 at Macy's. So that's not bad at all. Uh, but it's just, you know, it's one of those that I've smelt so many times that, you know, I just, it's, you know, it is what it is. That's, that's what, that's what type of fragrance it is. It just is what it is, you know. Uh, does it mean it's good? No. Does it mean it's bad? No. It's an all right fragrance. So, hope everyone has a great day and smell good.